Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenogears. Okay, we're in a conference discussing how to deal with the Merkava. Seek wants us to look over here, so let's go ahead and do that. Merkava's main gun requires a 1.2 second interval to reload because of its tremendous output. Upon firing, although it is only sectional, there will be a portion of the barrier that will be opened. There is a 1.87 second delay before the barrier reforms in that area. If you use this window of time to target and destroy the cannon, that cannon, it will be possible to close in on it. If we can get close enough, we can break through with gravitational spatial correction. Well, this is the rough idea. Unfortunately, we don't have such a long-range cannon that could acquire a target in such a brief time frame. So what you're saying is we just need to shut that annoying cannon up, right? You want to go head on into Merkava? Now you're being reckless again. That's suicide. No, listen. We're not just going. We're not going to just rush in. The Eggdrossel Four and this Excalibur are also equipped with barriers. That's what we'll use. Although only for a short time, we can withstand a direct hit from the Merkava's main cannon. Then we can close in and watch for that part of the barrier to go down and then destroy the cannon. How long will our barrier last? Uh, about 20 or so seconds. That's all? It wouldn't matter how fast we fly. In that amount of time, we'll be without a barrier before we can get within firing range. And those are numbers, and those n numbers are valid only if the generator is at full drive, right? We can only get those numbers if we sacrifice all the output and propulsion. I'm not suggesting we go in with guns blazing knowing we're gonna lose. We're gonna physically put a lid on it, directly. Huh? As you've said, Yggdrasil 4, Excalibur's barrier can't sufficiently defend against Merkava's attack. At least with one generator, that is. Meaning... Meaning, we can defend against the Merkava with twice the amount of time, 40 seconds, if we couple the two generators together. This way, we can make it into the heart of Merkava. But what about the propulsion? Just hear me out. This is what we do. First, we transform my Drossel into heavy assault mode and load it onto the Excalibur so we can couple the generators. By doing that, we can reduce the energy usage down to just supporting the hull of the ship and generating the barrier. This will allow most of the energy to be devoted to generating the barrier. Next, shift the barrier to full front and focus it to a single point where the cannon, where the main, their main cannon will make it strike. Now for movement. First off, we develop a barrier by engaging Excalibur's generator to maximum power. For propulsion during that time, we'll install on the Yggdrasil those large solid rockets we got from the ruins of the mass driver. When Excalibur's barrier expires, we'll use the Yggdrasil 4's generator to develop a barrier. Then we'll also detach the solid rockets and shift the Excalibur into, into conventional flight. Using this method, we can get right in Merkava's face. After it fires, it'll be defenseless. During this time, we'll block the muzzle of Merkava's cannon with, Excalibur, bleh, with Excalibur's bow ram, upon which we should have 0.67 seconds when the with the cannon fire, the Excalibur will destroy the Drossel 4 slave generator and incapacitate Merkava along the way. And then we break through. Seriously, Billy, you came up with all this on your own? That's what the plan is all about. The combination of the barriers of both ships, storming the Merkava, the timing of the cannon fire of the Excalibur. These are all going to be crucial. Mess up any one of these and the consequences are going to be severe. Hence, it'll be necessary to have both crews in sync with each other. That's why I'd like to place Sig in command of the Excalibur. I have no qualms with that. What do you think, Queen? Will you lend us your battleship? Since there appears to be no other alternative, let us go, go with that. Please use it as you see fit. 
but are we not cutting it uncomfortably close? When you calculate the arrival time and the barrier generation time, you see what I mean. One minor mishap will put us in a situation where we could run out of barrier before our arrival. Also, we will be devoting both generators to keeping the barriers up. Won't that leave us without perimeter defenses? We won't stand a chance if we get engaged by the Seraph Angels on our way to Makava. We'll hold them off. You can count on us. You guys just concentrate on taking out that main cannon. Thanks, we're depending on you. Already, everywhere else has been taken out. This is the only place that's left. This is going to be the true final battle. We set out to silence God's Ark, Merkava, which was the epitome of offensive and defensive power, and then storm inside it. We initiated the operation to destroy Zohar. Oh, abrupt cutoff music. Ooh. FMV. Oh, I love this one too. Ah, you're going down, Krellian. And Deus. And whoever else is inside it. Most FMV in the entire game, all at once. <laughs> and Vari was on top. Yes. All right. Ooh. Uh, I think we caused a little bit more damage than we expected, guys. Well, whatever was on that ground is gone now. That can't be. A secondary explosion. Oh no, I should have known better. What a miscalculation. The explosion was too big. It reacted with the main condenser right under the main cannon. And induced a secondary explosion. How could I have been so stupid? You mean we overdid it? That's uh, pretty typical of you, uh, there, Bart. Why did I not realize it sooner? This means we might have... Oh no, Ellie! Oh, oh my gosh. You could, you could, could have said, oh my god, hey, it's okay. Ellie! What is it this time? Hey, Seton, what more is going to happen? Something is happening in the center of Merkava. What could it be? Oh, that's... That is disgusting. That's just disgusting. Uh, I, I think we goofed up, guys. Yeah, a little bit of a miscalculation. Uh, yeah, you could say that. At that time, the earth quaked and shook. From the location where the Merkava crashed, a giant object appeared. It was Deus' final form. The Merkava was merely the, its vessel. Deus evolved through the use of Krellian's nanomachines into a planetary-scale weapon and began, began terraforming. It was attempting to convert this entire planet into a weapon. It retreated back to the base at the Snow Plains to form a new strategy. We decided to go back into Deus. Time was running out for us.
Snow planes. But, but this looks like uh, Shivat. Let's go ahead and save it. Actually, let me uh, check the time. I uh, uh, forgot to set my uh, timer. Let me see how long I've been going. Hold on a second. Okay, we're good. So, <clears throat> let's start exploring this part, this place. Um, and basically, the, the the world has opened up again. Oh. Hey, cow thingy. So where exactly are we? Oh. Though the space is the rat last refuge for humans. As you can no doubt see, we have almost no supplies. Anyway, we're using a fallen piece of Shivat as the main base. You probably could have guessed that, huh? We can take out Deus even one day sooner. We can't hold out much longer like this. Yeah. This is, uh... This is the ruins of Shivat. Crap. Excuse me. Hey, hey, welcome. What can I do for you today, hey? Well, let's see what you have. Thor's Thunder. Get one of those. Um, we have all of those ammos. So we don't need them. Ooh, large ether stones. Let's get a couple of those just in case. I don't need any of those. I'm gonna get two of those. Nah, I don't need those. Thanks, come again. So that's the accessory shop. Hey, aren't these Pico tiles cute? Going cheap, cheap, too. How about it? Wanna buy my Pico tiles? Yeah. Forced to pay 20,000 G. Well, crap. Thanks. They're really delicious if you grill them. Oh! Oh, that's wrong. Ah! Yeah, see, that's what you get. I know nothing! Nothing! Actually, the main reason we did that, I believe, is because, uh... Couldn't have used this otherwise. Let's see where this takes us now. Oh, this is the, uh, choo-choo room. This is that strange old Grandpa Choo Choo's precious treasure. I wonder what happened to him when Shiva crashed down to Earth. I haven't seen him. This treasure. Can we just take it? I'm sure he won't mind if we just borrow it. Received a vivid turban. Received some speed shoes. Now let's see what those do. Speed shoes, half time between turns. Oh, that's so nice. And vivid turban. Where is the vivid turban? Can you not wear that? Am I just missing it? I really wish I could sort these items. Maybe it's a choo-choo only item. Well, I'll check with choo-choo later. Borrowing it, just borrowing it. Hey, it's not like we're grave robbers or anything, right? So don't hex us or haunt us, okay? Please, we're begging you. Received a hero costume. Received a Hercules ring. 
Let's see what those do. Really, I really wish I could sort these. Hero costume. Defense down when ally KO'd. Ooh. Experience points gained up 50%. That's kind of nice, actually. Let's go ahead and equip that. Not that he needs it, but still. Oh, can't go out that door. Can't get over the, uh... counter. Received a Yamato belt. I think we have one of those already. Received a wizardry ring. Not like I need it. Huh. This is the mythical RPS badge. The HNS badge of legend. The tag badge that even collectors go crazy over. I bet that old choo-choo guy must have been so happy was displayed so nicely here. I can't take this from him. Faye gently put the ba put the badge back where he found it. Or badges, as the case may be. Do you want to go down? Yes. So yeah, you have to go up to get those things. Oh, you have to pay that the 20,000, I mean. Oh, and now the, uh, lift is over there. You gonna... Hey, buddy, you need something? Hey, hang on a minute. Ooh, Xeno Gears. Yeah, no new frame. Go ahead and get that uh, frame upgrade for Anvari. That frame upgrade for Ren Mazuo. Get that frame for uh, Steyr. And Crescens. And Seepson. And Fenrir. And that's it. No new frame for. Uh, Xeno Gears and all. Okay, so we could upgrade. Ooh, we start with a Y60. Could upgrade our uh, engines, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now. As long as there isn't anyone who really desperately needs something. And there is a reason for that. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Uh, Armor-wise, this is basically the same things that we had before. Um, so I will be upgrading them eventually, but uh, I'm gonna hold off on that again for now. Uh, heal everyone back up. Thanks, come again and I'll give you a better deal. <laughs> better you than me. Haha. <laughs> That's just rude. Hey, we can go back here. Let's see where this goes. Whee! Wow. This is enormous. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place, actually. Well, I'm in the right place for something, I'm just not sure. Oh. Over there, okay. Alright, this is something that I goofed up a little bit on, but it's not a total loss. I'm a celebrated gear weapon specialist, but lately there's been no interesting work. There are no men with enough guts to ask me to forge them a weapon to fight Deus. If you bring me a nifty sword, I can forge it into something truly amazing for you anytime. But I won't work for anyone rude enough to ask me to check a weapon while it's still equipped to their gear. Hint, hint. Yeah, so this is what I goofed up on. Um, that sword, Kishin, can be upgraded. 
but I need another sword to equip. Now, I'm sure you're saying, but you sold your other weapons. How? What will you do now? Well, there are places that I can go to get uh, the older swords, and I will do that. This is actually looks like the uh, place where uh, um, the underground hangar for uh, uh, Eggdrossel 1. Anyway, let's see. Let's go talk to this guy here. Ave Kislev, Nyson. We've been feuding for such a long time, and finally we're coming together as one like this. But it's probably already too late. It's always the case. By the time we notice anything, it's way too late. How could we possibly stand up to God's army? The situation's really hopeless. Oh, don't say that. Hey, I've got all kinds of good stuff here. Hey, you need anything? Um, I might actually buy some of these. Don't really need those. I will fill back up on those. Hey, many thanks. Come on back anytime you need anything, hey? Those people of Shiva have always dreamed of coming down to live on the planet's surface. We didn't ever imagine this would be how this would be how we would realize that dream. This is unbearable. It's gotten awfully cold. I hate the cold. It's killing me. If the temperature keeps dropping like this, we'll all be frozen before Deus can finish us off. It's not like we're born just to die. What's going to happen to us now? To this world? We can't carry on without at least drinking. It's scary and lonely. Burn. Burn. Burn up this whole world. My home, my family, everything's been destroyed by them. Who cares anymore? Burn it all. <laughs> Alright, you're a little crazy now. Dark, burning, burning, all of my rare first edition books and valuable autographs. I know supplies are short, but I can't believe they're burning my treasures. So many have died. If this continues, even more will die. It's the same as 500 years ago. That tragedy and hardship is being repeated again. What's going to happen to our world? What's going to happen to us? Alrighty, well, there's a few other items that we can get around here. Uh, let's see. Where did we start? I don't actually remember exactly where we started. Well, let's go that way. Why is the music stick? I went. I left. <laughs> the one place that I chose was the wrong one. Alright, back into the snowfield hideout. So, yes, it is Shivat crashed to Earth. Alright, so... Anything in here? Hmm, I think I smell treasure over here. Really? Do you? Uh, I think you're wrong. Okay, we've been there. Let's go this way. Oh! Wow, this is the, uh... That's a central shaft. We are to be judged. The last day is nigh. You too should be careful. It's all according to prophecy. If you say so. Just when I thought I could ride the UFO, it's not flying anymore. On top of that, this guy keeps saying annoying stuff. Indeed he does. Choo choo! I don't want you to think what I'm doing at a time like this. If I don't do this, I can't keep my composure. This is the first time for me to see snow, and boy, is it cold, slippery, and fun! Yahoo! Well, I suppose it's better to be a kid and get excited. When I thought Prince Bartholomew would return to bring peace to the land of Ave, it just goes to show 
You never know what might happen in this world. I've heard rumors that a part of Nortu at the old capital of Kizil have survived. I wonder if they're still conducting that barbaric, bartling thing. Really, I ask, what are we to do with our menfolk these days? Oh, I guess that's a woman. <laughs> Whoops. Wow, this room survived completely intact. In the prison, when I saw you change into a monster, I understood everything. Living inside of you, Faye, there's a monster that's not you. He's the bad one. He's to blame. So, to forgive you, or not to forgive you, well, that's not the problem. It's not like it's going to turn back things the way they were. But, er, it's just... I don't know how to say it properly, but I'm sorry. I... I... Uh, er, I... It's all right, Dan. Enough already. I understand. It is my fault. I'm sorry I caused you such pain. I'm just glad that I could finally make peace with you. Take care, kiddo. Hey, I was scared a little, but not really scared. Because I knew that inside that monster, you were doing all you could to fight it, Faye. I knew it. Midori, I'd better give this back to you. It's your precious ring, right? Be a good little girl and listen to your mother, Yui, alright? Alright, Midori? Oh, and look after Dan for me, okay? Yep. You're all fine. Faye, you be careful, too. I'm sure your voice will reach her, too, Faye. Yeah. I guess you're right. Okay. Well, I'm going now. See you later. Here. I got this from Choo Choo. Faye, you can have it. I'll trade you for my ring. Received a Hercules ring. So yeah, if you pick, if you found Midori's ring at the very beginning of the game, you can get a second Hercules ring here. Let's go ahead and uh, wrong. Thing. Got a new whip for him, didn't I? Yeah, Thor's thunder. I should probably sell some of these. <laughs> Um, let's change that out for the Hercules ring. There we go. I guess it's just a hole in the wall. I was wondering if maybe that was the, uh, um... Uh, that original uh, uh, place where we went with Maria. Oh, Queen, what do you see with those eyes? A look of sorrow as if you've lost something. But within that, the eyes of kindness which would forgive all. Whoa. falling, softly covering up everything in this world. Our so sorrow, our defilement, our mistakes. If only we could wipe away these things as easily as that. What have we, have I, been doing and pursuing for these past 500 years? By the way, how is the person you rescued from Merkaba? I heard he recovered consciousness. Yes, well, at first he had lost faith in himself, but now he is better. Kara has revived himself, and has found some real meaning in his life. If he decides to fight on our side, then our total fight fighting power shall be greatly increased. Oh! Car, please listen to me. Right now, we must forget about being friend or foe. We must all support one another, regardless. Isn't that the opposite of forgetting about being friend or foe? Because then that kind of makes you all friends, even if temporarily. Right now, we need your help. I... I'm just trash. A reject. Bright slap! Bright slap! Way to go, Seton! Stop feeling sorry for yourself and pull yourself together now. Hugo? What are you? Trash. Reject. You can take pity and call yourself that all you want. But what about them? Are these women, women stupid? Or trash? Or rejects too for believing in you? reasons why you helped the girls who had 
no one to turn to. May not have been the, that noble, but in spite of that, they stuck with you. Do you know why? They know you better than anybody else. They know the true kindness that exists within your heart. They know because they want to be loved. That is why they won't leave you. Car, do not make them into the trash or rejects that you speak of. Commander. All of you. Needless to say, you are not trash or a reject. We know that better than anybody, anyone does. I didn't realize that I'm, what I've been looking for was so close to me. I'm sorry for not realizing it sooner. Oh, Commander. So much has happened between him and I. When this battle ends, I want to face Ramses one-on-one -on -one in sport, not war, as a martial artist. I'm sure he wishes the same thing, too. Perhaps. Faye, may I ask you something? About Ellie. What if, even if we break Zohar's spell, she doesn't return to normal? Ellie will be back to her usual self. I will go on believing that. But even if that doesn't happen, I will still... Well, let's just say I'm prepared for that, too. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, you know? Your opponent is the person you love. If you decide to quit now, no one will blame you. To quit would be meaningless. All that I have fought for, all that I live for, would come to have no meaning at all. People should be free, with no one bound by others, and no one binding others. Inside of me, there is a part of me that desires that freedom, and a part of me that gives me hope. So I shall fight to win true freedom, for we are still alive. We fight to live, that is the reason why I fight. It's proof I'm human. I promised my father, and myself too, that I would free Ellie from Deus' binds, that I would save her. I understand. So let's keep believing, and hope for a miracle. Indeed. And I think on that note, we'll end it here. There's still a few more things that we can do in the uh, um, Snowfield Hideout, um, which I will do in the next episode. And then we will uh, do some side quests, because it's the end of the game. Why not? See you then.